It's a blissful day with bountiful of talk at BNMIT video podcast. I am Nagaratna and today we are here to talk about the most interesting topic that is on stress management. We have Professor Jasmine Francis. We welcome you ma'am. Thank you Nagaratna. I'm so delighted to be part of this. Let's begin the podcast. Uh, I have certain instance for you. So it is one of my friends. Whenever I make a call to her, she always says that I have that work to be done and this work is pending. My question is that how can she handle this overload of responsibilities? I think it is a very common issue that not only her but everybody faces it. As we grow older, we have multiple responsibilities both in our professional life as well as in personal life. So first thing we have to learn the art of multitasking and plan your day well in advance. Yes ma'am, it's very much true. I would like to add another question to based on the same instance. So it is that how can she stay focused even though she does not get any downtime? I think in the downtime we're talking about scrolling Instagram or seeing reels yes. or indulging in and some online games like PUBG. I think any amount of time for the same is not enough. I think if it is in quality downtime like indulging yourself in some physical activities like yoga, meditation, nothing like that. Okay ma'am uh, let me add another good question so how can she improve her performance further with this package of this overload of this work i think this modern era everybody is packed so i think the first and foremost thing which you have to do is prioritize and plan your day and at the same time have a deadline for your work if you have deadlines for your work then i think you can easily and we will be more focused to achieve the same Yes ma'am you have given solutions for the instances that was narrated so now let us dig the topic in some general perspective so i often hear that there is a fear of failure is that true what is your take on that trust me failure is the stepping stone to success but i don't think people are worried about the term failure but people are actually worried of being judged so please relax yourself have confidence have self awareness and self acceptance and do only what you can do do not copy and do not compare okay uh, let's move further how do you address peer pressure i think peer pressure is a myth everybody is having similar task or responsibility based in a workplace as well as a student life but everybody's approach towards the same is completely different with the, the style and the skill set do not copy or compare your skill set with the other person rather focus on yourself have self confidence and do best about your ability okay ma'am uh, now let us also concentrate on youngsters what do you think is the major reason for stress among youngsters i think it is unexpected expectations out of life and lack of physical activity like any kind of sports or meditation or yoga in a college bn mit we have something called as oben i think you know yes oben is for the viewers who does not know what is oben oben is nothing but outbound experiential learning when we take our faculty members and students and indulge them with some kind of physical activities like trekking indoor and outdoor games and teach them very important life skills and also we give an opportunity for them to connect with nature which is most important thing which everybody has to do yes ma'am so let us move further ma'am so it is like agreement or disagreement type of questions so what do you think social media and instant gratifications are the major reasons for uh, stress among youngsters is it absolutely okay. i think it's so unfortunate that all of us are falling to this artificial world which is absolutely not real okay. people are behind social media like crazy at times i think we should actually not take social media very seriously and rather spend some quality time in something else so that everybody will have some or other level of acceptance in life okay ma'am oh uh, now uh, there is some question that is really running in my mind Do you really think that competition will bring stress? I think healthy competition absolutely not, but unhealthy practices in this competitive world, yes. So okay. don't go behind unhealthy competitions or don't go with unethical practices. Mm-hmm. Be honest, do what you can do and relax yourself and be focused. If you stay focused and if you use mind mapping, you can achieve and you can win in any kind of competitions. 
Okay, we really went very much deep into the topic of stress management. We spoke in general perspective, and we spoke about youngsters also. So, ma'am, can you give only a single word how to manage stress? I think it is very difficult to say one single word, but again, I would say that is physical activity. Because if you have a sound body, you have a sound mind, and if you have a sound mind, you can do any kind of work in this real life. You want to tell that health is wealth? Yes, absolutely. Okay, we are at the end of our podcast. I have a last question for you. So, can you give some of the tips to how to manage stress? I think I'm so happy that somebody is asking me a tip. So, I think the first tip is plan your day. So, if you're planning your day well in advance, I think that would sort be a majority of the problem. Second thing, sleep well and relax. Majority of us is going through a running race where we are not giving enough rest to your body. So, please sleep well. If you sleep well, the next day is really good. If you do not sleep, it will go hair well. And the third tip which I would say is. indulge in some kind of physical activity be it anything of your choice it can be gym it can be yoga it can be meditation it can be anything but indulge in something or indulge in some kind of sport of your choice the last and my favorite is something called as gardening there is nothing in this world can heal everything but nature has the power to heal as well as rejuvenate Oh yes ma'am. Oh uh, we really had a very fantastic conversation with you on stress management. We thank you ma'am. It is a pleasure of mine. Thank you Nagratna. Thank you. We thank our listeners. So stay tuned for much more episodes from BNM Institute of Technology. Stay tuned, stay informed and stay authentic. Thank you.